Sitting in this room right behind me are two of the sassiest cats around, technically foxes, but you would have no idea what they're saying until you understood what all of this gibberish means. I love hidden secrets and Easter eggs in video games, and Tunic has more than most. You probably had no idea that this guy over here wished you well on your way on your journey, and this guy over here said a curse word that you haven't heard since 2011. The Tunic text language, also known as Runic to the community, as you can see right here, do you see what we did? Okay takes a ton of time to translate, so most people pass over it. However, these little guys, the little fox ghosts that you find in the land of Tunic at nighttime, have some pretty shifty opinions that I think you should probably know about. We're gonna walk around and find out what each of these characters is saying and rank them on a scale from kind and helpful all the way to kick rocks, kid. And just for a little fun and spice along the way, we're gonna find out if the dialogue is actually helpful for the characters at all. Now, where do we kick off this little adventure of discovery? Well, to even uncover these sarcastic little freaks, you have to do what I experience pretty commonly and lie face up in your bed at night and question every life decision you've ever made up until this point. After thinking back on 2019, when the server said, enjoy your meal, and you said, you too, we plunge into nighttime and our survey can begin. What seems to make sense to me is starting off where we kick off the game normally, at our house. Or at least what I thought was our house. Because the first ghost says this, and it translates roughly to, Hi, are you new? Where is your home? Which is a wildly unsettling thing to hear, starting outside of what you thought was your house when you started the game. That would be like showing up to school and your teacher asks, Are you a student here? And you're like, I don't know, you tell me, man. <laughs> Anyways, I rank this ghost confused but welcoming. To our east, we discover an individual that says this and actually says, Oh, hi, I'm just taking a break. Are you going to the swamp? You're brave. Which, you know, take me out to a nice Italian dinner first and then we'll talk. Nice out of 10. Aww. Moving towards the southeast quarter, we find this fox who follows up the one-two punch by saying this and actually says, Do you seek the cathedral? Remember that you are nothing but a ghost. Remember those times when you were at a party? Well... Yeah, me neither. But let's pretend you're at one and you're having a great time. This is like the guy that comes up to the whole group and says, we're all gonna die and nothing matters right before you're about to rip your like third tequila shot. I would give this guy a woke up on the wrong side of the bed. After having that existential crisis, we head towards the swamp where we uncover some well hidden secrets. The first ghost says this, which translates to, I don't think you can get into the cathedral without moonlight. But then again, heroes are surprising. This clever little hint draws reference to a secret in the cathedral that requires tight platforming in the daytime to actually collect. How dare the video game be helpful, you know? Aha! Aha! Literally giving a hint out of 10. Our second friend here says, A big fight was here a long time ago. Or last week? It's all blurry. Similar to one of those old Goosebumps type books, we can never really tell where the Tunic story begins and where it ends. I also think it's particularly funny that both of these foxes don't feel the need to actually go any further into the swamp, as if to say, nah, I'm good, you got it, go right ahead. <laughs> Confused, but welcoming. Skedaddling back to the overworld, we find ourselves at the Golden Arches, where we find ourselves in a rather bleak situation. This first fox says, Things are tense in there. I think something bad happened. Confused, but welcoming. Inside, we find three of the most bombastic translations that you'll find in this game. Fox number one here says, Someone took out the siege engine? Impossible. Well, it may have taken me 50 tries, sir, but at least I got it eventually, okay? What the fuck? Let's fucking go, baby. Fox number B says, Alas, alas, alas. Should we have done a fourth key? No. They would have found that too. Which is really giving taking a nap after eating an entire tray of chilies, chips, and salsa by yourself. And Fox number four says, Who would do such a thing? Either a hero or a fool? Yeah, who in their right mind would do that? I give these three a spoiled brat. Heading to our eastern atoll, we have our fox friend up here who I'll call Jon Snow on the wall who says, I used to visit the gardens, but it's scary now. And right you are, friend. Scared out of 10. Inside, we find our yin and yang of foxes in this game who say two polar opposite things. The first one says, this one is dead. They used to be palace guards, but now they are for flowers. Which, you know, rest of the piece. And our equally as silly partner in crime can be found here saying, Fish, fish, fish. I'm fishing for fish. Really read the room, buddy, okay? Too Bruh. sad to be sassy and blissfully Baba unaware boy. out of 10. Our next section is the East Forest and the Fortress of the Inner Vault. We start with Dance Move Danny over here, and he says this, but he actually says, I'm dancing the dance of the Holy Cross. You bust that move, friend. Blissfully unaware. 
Near the entrance to the vault, we have this hidden friend. Hi, this way goes to the hero's grave, but there are some weird critters. Yeah, that would have been nice to know the first time. I'm giving this one a hearty, not sassy, and actually helpful. Inside the vault, we have a small congregation of ghost foxes, most of which don't say anything. I checked. But this particular fox says, Wow, the siege engine was not enough. Wow, wow, wow. I have to give this guy a too sad to be sassy. And so as we enjoy covering speedrunning content on this channel, here are a bunch of the main overworld characters done fast. This guy says, I ran a store once. People usually steal stuff though, which, aw, my heart. <laughs> Another too sad to be sassy. Next we have, have you found the Holy Cross? Which is kind of helpful if you haven't opened this gate, I guess. So, you know, literally giving a hint out of 10. Next is this lad nearby who asks, trying out a new look? Which seems like a very tailored Bruh. hint. Nice out of 10. This fox mentions, the cathedral scares me, but I've heard there's an incredible treasure. It's called the hero's laurels. Wouldn't it be wild if that was on my head right now? Blissfully Baba unaware. Nearby, we have so big. Are they this big in person? Yeah, it is pretty big. And the statues are pretty big too. Blissfully Bruh. unaware. Next, we have my favorite part, which is the best pun in the game by saying, well, 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 sorry. Ooh. Nice. Seems like this guy just watched one of those 2 p.m. daytime sitcoms. Zzz. Blissfully Baba unaware. Boy. Now over to two particularly zooted out foxes that say, what happened? I feel sad when I look at it. And Things are more beautiful when they are in ruins. Do you agree? And both certainly earn the too sad to be sassy badge. Inside of the windmill, we have, have you heard the old hymn? Seek the golden path. Sounds kind of silly, which again is very brat, spoiled brat. Hidden behind the windmill is a path to these two guys who are having a conversation that goes something like, there's a mouse in my house. What should I do about it? Where the right one was Ron's with. Do they sound funny to you? Seems fine to me, which like, Okay, Baba blissfully boom. unaware. And finally, we have reached the mother load. The rudest and absolute sassiest character in the entire game of Tunic by far, and it is not even close. If this fox was a real person, they would be named Stanley Hudson or Phoebe Buffet. The character I'm referring to is the librarian. And it makes total sense seeing as, well, we, you know, murdered them in cold blood during the game. He is literally a ghost now due to us. We are the problem here, in fairness. The librarian says, here to gloat? Idiot. You did it. You released the air. And now this. You must either defeat it and take its place or find the holy cross and share its wisdom. Good luck with that. The sarcasm is dripping off of every word like molasses, and I'm personally here for it. Our royalty of rudeness earns themselves the badge, I put the ass in sass. The things you don't see within Tunic are often the most clever and satisfying to find, should you take the time to look. Dialogue is only a minuscule part of the huge array of different secrets that you could find within this beautifully crafted game. I hope this video inspires some of you out there to dive deeper into Tunic like I did. And until next time, I'm Bobby Byrne. Peace.